No, no. I would never do that. That's very, very stupid. Vanta, sit. Sit. Bra, sit. Långt. Bra. Sit. Det går bra att gå förbi. Duktig tjej, Alice. Bra. Det går jättebra att gå förbi. Vi tränar bara och, och sitta och, och lyda när någon eh, går förbi, helt enkelt. Nej, en tik. Duktig tjej. Sitt. Nej. Hon vill bara leka. Nej. Vänta. 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 Nej. Vänta. Vänta. Sitt. Sitt. Bra jobbat. Vad duktig du är. Bra jobbat. Jättebra jobbat. Kom. Oh, there's a little dog there. Anyway, uh, the way I see um, meeting other dogs is that for me, what's important is that the dog obeys the commands, right? So when when a dog is um, really excited, wants to play, I still am able to say like wait or sit or anything else uh, without any dog to do. So. I practice um, the so-called dog meetings when a, like a dog passes by uh, in two ways. So sometimes I love to play with the dog. In which case I would say wait, sit, and then just let her loose and have her play with the dog. And she's going to have a lot of fun and that's kind of like the primary reward for being a, for working in that situation and following the commands. And then the other half of the times, I basically just try to keep her calm and use the second best reward, which is a treat, for example, uh, or a ball after the uh, after she's been very good at following commands and uh, after the other dog has passed by, and uh, she could get a ball and just play with the ball instead. So I think what's important, though, is to train this when the dog has focus on the dog because that's that's the situation where you want the dog to obey the commands it's kind of that's the situation where we have to uh, practice the association of following the command with getting some kind of reward either playing or getting a treat or getting the ball afterwards um, so i think it's I think it's a bad idea to avoid such situations if, if the dog is not has not yet learned to behave when other dogs pass by. It's avoidance or like avoidance in general, even by the handler. Avoiding a situation uh, just because you don't know how to train it uh, is just it's not gonna make the situation better. Uh, it's just gonna hide it under the carpet. Like I, I wonder what she's growling at. It's interesting, there is nothing there. Let's see. Look, look at the hair. Like hair is standing up. She definitely sees something. I, th I think it's probably that little black rock there, or a piece of dirt. Um, but I'm not gonna interfere right now. I'm just gonna let her explore the environment. Find out that there's nothing dangerous there. Nothing's gonna attack her there. So that next time she doesn't have to growl at it. Um, so I strongly, I strongly believe in uh, sort of exposing the dog to situations and let her learn from the environment and from you as a handler uh, instead of avoiding situations. So this is this is interesting. Look. Let's see what happens. Like it is definitely that rock. Look, it's definitely that rock. There's something about that rock that seems threatening to her. So it's important to let her just explore it. We can even go forward towards the rocks, and, but 
First of all, let's start. Let's see. Yeah. So I'm gonna I'm gonna walk before her and uh, I'm just gonna explore this rock and make sure that there is nothing threatening about it. Yeah, see? It was this rock. It was this rock that seemed threatening. See, it's like you never know what the dog finds threatening. And that's also another reason that I think that exposing the dog to a wide variety of situations is always going to be helpful. Uh, because it helps the dog generalize. Uh, it helps the dog learn that certain things are not threatening. It gives her confidence instead of fear. Very good. Okay, come. Come. Det blir eller en Jag tänkte att de skulle läcka av sig lite att de hittar något slags. Ja. Det är stor höjd man. Det är lite ovärt. Det är bra att han säger från. Ja, ja, jag är väldigt nöjd. Vi tänkte liksom att få gå en kurs att han ska säga från. Ja. Det kommer det massor med hästar. Det kommer det... Sitt. Nej. Sitt. Sitt. Lugnt. Hej. Ja, det är en valp. Hon vill jättegärna leka. Men jag, jag tränar lite med henne motsatsen. Att just inte leka. Ja. Precis. Så vi får vara lite tråkiga och, och inte lekfulla helt enkelt. Ha det så bra. Så. Vänta. Kom. Här. Kom. Vänta. Vänta. Bra. Sitt. Bra. Sitt. Bra. Sitt. Vänta. Sitt. 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 Det går bra att komma förbi också. Alice, sitt. Sitt. Bra. Så, vänta. Vänta. Bra. Duktig du är. Vänta. Sitt och vänta. Bra. Sitt och vänta. 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 Sitt. Vänta. Duktig tjej. Duktig tjej. Vänta. Sitt, sitt, sitt. Så, vänta. Vänta. Bra. Duktig det. Duktig det. Vänta, vänta, vänta. Vänta, vänta. Sitt, vänta. Sitt. Så. Vänta, vänta. Bra, vänta. Vänta. Ja, vänta. 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 Så, vänta. Vänta. Så, vänta. Sitt. Så, vänta. 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 Kom. Lugn. Kom. Lugn. Kom. Fortsätt. Fortsätt. Bra. Fortsätt. Fortsätt. Bra. Fortsätt. Ja. 
lắm 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 Det där, det här är första gången som jag liksom bara kan så här, men inte ens tänka på. Det är skönt. Ja, men det är skönt. Mm. Ja.